Not every as-seen-on-TV product is a waste of money, but how would you really know unless you try them, or better yet, we try them for you. We decide to take a look at five more marvelous wonders of automobile innovation. So no more granny shifting, it's time to double clutch like you should be. The Rainbrella is a wipe-on windshield water repellent that claims to last twice as long as its most popular competitors. But is the Rainbrella gonna stop the drop when it opens up shop? Once you crack open the packaging, you'll have a couple individually wrapped wipes, a microfiber cloth, and a snazzy new pair of gloves. You've also got a pretty lengthy set of instructions, but since this product uses a three-step application process that's also conveniently located on the side of the box, we won't be needing these. To start our test, we headed outside and split the windshield into three sections using some painter's tape. One section will be for plain old water, the second for application of the rainbrella, and third will rub a potato all over the windshield because people on the internet claim that it beads water up. So without further ado, we ripped open the rainbrella and slapped it right onto the end of this plastic handle. This will allow us to easily wax on and wax off. Now here's where most people mess this up. You have to apply the product twice, so give it a few minutes to dry, buff it out, and then reapply it again, and buff it out again. For the potato portion of our test, we went ahead and chopped the potato in half lengthwise to give us as much surface area as possible. Once that was done, we assembled the plus three potato wand of liquid banishment using half the potato and a magic plastic arm that we got from our mythic chest this week. The idea here is that you'll put a layer of starch from the potato onto the windshield, thereby creating an invisible barrier between the glass and water. Unfortunately, the starchy remnants on the glass are quite visible and truthfully pretty obnoxious. The potato gave us a thick haze reminiscent of our college days but without all the land parties and self-loathing. Considering this would be a distraction in its current state, we gave it a wipe as well to clear off any major streaks. In testing, once we gave our car a little spritz, you can definitely tell that the Rainbrella is a miracle maker in a plastic pouch. The water beads and rolls off the windshield immediately, and when compared to the untreated portion, well, the results speak for themselves. As far as the potato is concerned, the starch barrier proved to be theoretical at best and provided absolutely zero benefit whatsoever. And just in case we botched the potato portion when we buffed it, we applied the other half of the potato to a side window and sprayed it down without any wiping. As depicted in the reflected facial expression here, we were met with a similar, if not worse, result. So in conclusion, the Rainbrella definitely stands up to its claim of being an invisible shield for dirt and water repelling. As far as the potato's concerned, hey, they're delicious when baked or mashed and completely useless when applied to car windows. Moving on, allow us to introduce you to the catch-all solution for rear-end repose, the egg sitter. While mostly marketed as a solution for uncomfortable seating in your home, this support solution is also an easy way to transform your car interior into a personal paradise without those unsightly beads that you've got draped all over your seat right now. Let's slide this thing out of the box. Look what we've got here, a washable cover and our egg sitter with its patented honeycomb design. The honeycomb is designed to help it remain breathable while relaxing any pressure points that may be activated while sitting on a hard surface. Not only is this thing much softer than it looks, when you squash down on it, it makes a fun and familiar sound before it returns to its original shape. Using that seat cover as a cinch, as it's perfectly sized to snugly fit the egg sitter and has a zipper on one end to close it up tightly. Now before taking this guy out into the car, we decided to test it out beforehand using this uncomfortable patio chair. After placing it down onto the center of the chair and having a seat, we immediately entered an unparalleled state of relaxation Relaxation. Since we're washing the cover right now, we did without it for the car application. Considering this thing's called the Egg Sitter, we decided to put that name to the test, but not without laying down this towel beforehand, just in case. After that, we just put the egg sitter into position right on the seat and put a nice sized brown egg right into the center. Regardless of how many times we tried to crack this thing, it was resilient to say the least. We're happy to report that not only had the egg not broken, but it had transformed itself into a perfect sunny side up, including a plate, making it a must have if you're ever uncomfortable while driving or even when you're dining on the go. The Micro Mechanic is a pocket-sized Rosetta Stone for automobiles, helping you diagnose check engine issues and decipher their cryptic codes, all with a little help from its smartphone app. Working on mostly any vehicle made after 96, this versatile tool has the potential to solve a plethora of problems. But is the Micro Mechanic a one-stop shop for vehicle health, or is it just trying to sell you blinker fluid? Let's put the car in park and make out. Find out. After cutting open the robust packaging, you've got the Micro Mechanic device in a padded ring box, 
In addition, we've also got some instructions on how to attach and utilize the device. Head to your car and take a peek underneath the steering wheel area of your car. You should find an inconspicuous 16-pin data port that we'll be attaching it to. This is also known as an OBD2 port, though I wish it was called an ODB port, cause baby I got your money. To use the device, just fire up the official app and wait a moment for it to pair via Bluetooth. It's also important to note that in the HH garage, car trouble doesn't last long. Fortunately, we had no check engine lights to diagnose. We checked out a ton of apps that claim to work with this, but our favorite by far was OBD Fusion. Once you accept the terms and conditions and promise them your firstborn child, you'll be spinning yarn into gold in no time. Just make sure that the communications are set to Bluetooth BitConnect and away you go. After confirming a second time that we have no air codes, we headed over to the dashboards to see what kind of features we've got. Right here, you've got your traditional speedometer and RPM gauges, as well as a fuel rate, battery status, and engine temperature. Let's give this thing a rev or two before we hit the streets, just to make sure it's updating on the fly. Now that we're out and about, it's blatantly evident that the micro mechanic could definitely be a great solution for anyone who has problems with their dash lights, as apps can transform an old smartphone into a perfect replacement for your interior gauges, or perhaps even a heads-up display. Truthfully, when older models are concerned, you'd probably be better off using this device as more readings will be displayed here than on the actual gauge cluster itself. In conclusion, if you're someone who hates feeling like they're tacking on additional things at the auto shop or just want to troubleshoot your own project car, then the Micro Mechanic is definitely firing on all cylinders. Just get the idea that it looks like a ring box out of your head, because they'll probably say no. Engine problems aside, nothing can ruin your morning like having a flat tire when you need to be somewhere. But there's no need to fear, because the Airhawk Pro Cordless Air Compressor is here. As you can see from the packaging, the Airhawk is drill-shaped and weighs in at a mere two pounds. Cracking open the box, we've got a colorful instruction manual, rugged carrying case as well as an AC power adapter, what appears to be two rechargeable batteries, the Airhawk with swappable tips, and the small tube that will attach the compressor to whatever needs inflated. Now here you'll notice that one of the batteries is actually a car adapter in disguise, with a hole in the bottom where you can hide the cord while it's not in use. The other battery will need to be charged by plugging the AC adapter into a small hole in the center of the battery. Before firing up the Airhawk, screw the small tube onto the end of the device, then press the power button located on the rear. The backlit display will fire up, showing you your current air pressure. You can also set an automatic shutoff at whatever PSI you desire. To start our test, we begrudgingly went outdoors and deflated a tire on the Hackermobile, registering at a mere 22 PSI. It's time to put this thing into a real-life situation and see just how quickly we can get some results. You just connect the Airhawk to the end of the valve stem and press the unlock button above the trigger. Once it's running, you really don't have to hang on to it. It'll go ahead and sit there itself. But unless you enable the automatic shutoff, we'd recommend you stick around. After a few minutes, your tire should be filled. You can just remove the compressor with a small twist. Of course, after that, put the valve cap back on and you're ready to roll out. To conclude, we'd say that the Airhawk Pro has definitely more than a few useful applications and could easily save you in a pinch, whether you're on the road or at the basketball courts. And we'd highly recommend that you pick one up or something similar to keep in your trunk. The Windshield Wonder is an undiscovered treasure for the interior of your windshield. Boasting a price tag of around nine bucks, it claims to hit all those hard to reach places. So let's find out if there's any real benefit to using this contraption or if it's merely a rag on a stick. After tearing open the easy access door of the package, we've got the handle and the head of the brush, an extra bonnet, a tiny spray bottle, and hey, some instructions for usage and reordering. Just snap the handle into the arm until it clicks and you're set for success. You'll notice that the head of the wand pivots to and fro, but that's really where the magic fades. In fact, upon initial inspection of this product, we immediately realized that there wasn't really anything to it. We could just as easily craft our own version using a spatula, a microfiber cloth, and hey, a couple rubber bands. So we went ahead and laid our cloth out on the table and folded each of the sides in. After that, you place a spatula over one of the sides with the tip sitting right about dead center. Go ahead and fold the remaining cloth over the spatula and secure it with rubber bands. And there it is, the spiffy spatula, not available in any stores. Let's give these two devices a side-by-side -side comparison and see which one's gonna get white. We slapped a piece of painter's tape down the center of this filthy glass just to ensure that there's an even playing field. Utilizing the amazing spray bottle, we spritz the entire thing with water and put the windshield wonder into action. 
the miracle of microfiber cleaning moist glass worked exactly as expected, although we did note that it was still nearly impossible to get into the corners easily. Moving on to the spiffy spatula, you can see this thing cleans glass perfectly, although having the same problem when it comes to getting into corners. Other than that, works like a charm. So in conclusion, we'd have to agree with the three and a half star rating that the Windshield Wonders got on Amazon. While it definitely does exactly what it describes moderately well at that, the value just doesn't seem to ring through. By comparison, the spiffy spatula would easily garner a five star rating, simply due to the fact that in addition to doing windows, it also flips pancakes. Well, it's sad to say that we've reached the end of another video. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, Etsy Bebo LinkedIn. We've got 4 billion other videos for you to check out as well. So click on our channel name and get cracking. See you next time.